Hey everyone, we're back with another hard level SAT math question. So in this one, the expression 3x minus 23 times 19x plus 6 is equivalent to the expression ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants. What is the value of b? So in a previous video, I showed you guys what the box method was. The box method is a super, super easy way to multiply, to multiply any two polynomials any two polynomials. And so when we have two polynomials, that's basically just saying, you know, we have one function here multiplied by another function here. Um, and there's nothing crazy like exponentials or anything else going on, right? <laughs> so we have, we can multiply any two polynomials using this method using the box method. So I'm going to show you that method really quickly here. Basically draw a box, and then put your first factor on the top. So 3x, and then minus 23, and our second factor on the side, so 9x and 6. And then we just multiply in the way that makes the most sense. Right, so it's pretty easy, pretty easy to understand here. So 19x times 3x is our first thing. So we have 57x squared in the top, right? We're gonna do this one. So 3x times 6, it's 18x. Negative 23 times 19x, it's gonna be negative 437x. You can check that with a calculator if you'd like. Then negative 23 times 6, which is gonna be negative 138. Okay. And you could do this for any any sort of polynomial. Let's say we had like um, some sort of box here. And we had like our first factor was 3x plus 148 minus 5x squared. X squared. We had like 2 or 23x and then 14 down here. We just draw three lines here and then just simply multiply, 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 and get our answer that way. But this isn't really the equation that we're doing right now. This isn't what we're doing right now. I just wanted to show you guys that another example of how you could do that, apply this to a different, uh, different equation. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to combine like terms. So we see that there's an x here, an x here. So we get negative 437x plus 18x. That's going to give us negative 419x. So we have our final equation here, 57x squared minus 419x minus 138. Let's go back and take a look at our problem again. What is the value of b? Well, we see the value of b, the coefficient of x in both of these is going to be negative 419. Negative 419 is equal, therefore, to b, and that's our answer.